Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobo, and in today's video I wanted to talk about Active Directory user accounts and also touch on call handling. The reason we're going to tackle Active Directory user accounts is because we're going to have a situational phone call in which we will have to look up user account, reset their password, or maybe even unlock their account. This is kind of uh, tying in with my previous video on how to handle a help desk tier one phone call. And if you'd like to check that out, there will be a link in the description and also a link in the top right hand corner as well. So let's go ahead and look at what happened during this phone call. And then we're going to stop it in real time. And then I'm going to show you what happens on the back end. So meaning that what is going on with the person working help desk while they're talking to the user. Thank you for calling tech support. My name is Irvin. Uh, what can I assist you with today? Hi, I, uh, I, I, for some reason I can't log in to Outlook. Outlook keeps asking me for a password. I don't know why. I, uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Sure. Does it, um, does it, uh, give you an issue whenever you try to log in anything else or is this just this specific system? Uh, let me, let me try. I, I think it's just Outlook, but I'm not sure. I don't even know why Outlook keeps asking me for the password, but I think it's just Outlook. Let me try something else. Oh yeah. Yeah. This, um, oh yeah. This other system is also giving me problems. It keeps asking for the password. I don't know why. I did have a little trouble, uh, like I may have like mistyped the password this morning. Okay. Well, no problem. Let times. me uh, let me look up your account. Uh, what is your login ID for this? My login ID is Irvin underscore uh, C A N. Okay. All right. I got it pulled up here. All right. Let's pause that for a minute. Now we know the name of this user. So let's go ahead and look it up in Active Directory to see what's going on with his account. But before we do that, please take one second to click the like button. I really appreciate that. That way I don't have to play any ads for you here. And that way you are supporting my channel. It only takes one second. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, let's go ahead and open up Active Directory. And within Active Directory on the left hand side, you can see a folder that's called users. If you select that, if you select users, you can see that a bunch of different users and groups show up in there. So you can scroll down and look for that login or the person's name. However, the easiest way to look somebody up is if you right click the users folder and select find. In here, you can type in the name of the user and he said Irvin underscore C-A-N. So let's go ahead and click find now. And here it is. We found the user, we can simply select it, double click it, and it should pull up user's account. So let's see what's going on with that. He said he can't log in, so the next thing we're going to look up is the password. So we're going to click on the account. If we suspect that user is locked, in the account tab here, we can simply click on the check mark like this where it says unlock account, select apply or okay, and this will unlock the user's account. Now we can get back to them and let them know to try again. It wouldn't take my password. I, I, I recently changed it. I think I changed it like a couple of days ago. So I may have mistyped it a couple of times. Is that why? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So uh, if, if you mistype password once, you don't want to keep trying it. Usually it locks out after you try more than three times. Uh, but it's not a problem. I can unlock you. Uh, would you like me to reset the password as well? Or do you just uh, want to give it a shot without me resetting if you it? Can, uh, if you can unlock me, that would be great. I'd like to see if I can. Because uh, I don't feel like changing the password again. You know how it is. It's like you, you try to like come up with a new password and then it, it's like you're just sitting there trying to figure out well which one do i want to use this time like you know so uh, yeah if you can just unlock me that would be great okay no problem i uh i have it unlocked right now i want to want to give it a shot and see if it works all right hold on let me uh let me try this here okay I I think I'm good now. Outlook came up now, and it's uh, okay. It looks yeah, okay. My new <laughs> emails are coming through. So, okay, great. Uh, that's good. I I thank you so much. I appreciate. That. All right, no problem, no problem. I'm I'm glad to help. I'm glad that worked out for you. Uh, is there anything else I can help you with today? No, that is all. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. 
No problem. My pleasure. Thank you for calling Tech Support. You have a wonderful day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, there you go, my friends. This is how you fully handle a help desk call in which you would unlock user accounts. Of course, there are other things you can look at. If you go to the account, you can make some changes to it when it related to password. If you want to change their password, you can change it here. If you select user must change password at the next logon, is something what I would um, uh, highly recommend in a business environment. So this is a part of security. You want the user to have their own password. So I highly suggest that you check user must change their password at the next login because after you change it, you give them a temporary password, they should be able to set their own. In order to change the password, we have to go back to the users folder and then find the user and then right click it and then select reset password. However, this is kind of counterpoint to what I said earlier that you know, if this is populated with thousands and thousands of users, it may not be easy to find. However, if you do right click on the users folder, select find and do the thing I told you earlier is to type in Irvin CAN so we can find this user here. Since we found it already, we're going to have to dig through the actor directory. A lot of people actually don't show this on their videos when they show how to reset the password is that now since you already found it, you don't have to dig and kind of like, you know, your eyes are starting to dry out because you're trying to find this user. You can just find it here and then right click and reset password. And we're going to change the password to something temporarily. And then again, make sure this is checked. User must change the password at the next login. And then if their account is locked as well, you can check that as well. And then just click OK. And now it says the password for Irvin has been changed. All right, guys, I hope you find this video useful. Please share it with your friends. Let them know about me and ask them what they think. Are these videos useful to you? I think they are. I appreciate you watching. Have a good day. And don't forget to ask me any questions that you may have in the comments below. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.